The circuit itself is pretty simple. I have the pick here. I could have gone with a pick and an EEPROM. Instead I just chose a pick that was large enough I wouldn't have to worry about the EEPROM. I have the digital analog converter and then I have just an audio op amp and uh, a potentiometer right there controls the volume of everything. So here's a quick look of the software I made to convert the mod files. We'll take an example mod file here. And so the problem you have originally with the uh, with the different instruments is that they don't uh, necessarily line up nicely and they'll take up far too much memory on their own. So here this gives us the opportunity to say I want to play and figure out what the original sample sounds like and then you can play and figure out how will my uh, estimation sound and it tries to guess the right frequency and sounds pretty close. It'll let you also go through and change it and say well I want to do a sawtooth or a square wave and after you figure that out here's a square wave will be fairly close to what the simp it's supposed to be. After you've done that to all of your uh, different instrument types, you're able to convert that into something that the pick can read. Each time you turn it on, the pick loads from its internal EEPROM a random number seed and uses that to determine uh, which song it should play next, so it's not always playing the same song every time you turn it on. And that's it. Thanks for watching.